Hello students, we're going to look at the solution now to number 8, multiple choice, part of your chapter 7 sample quiz, book 3 of your Math 1026 booklets. Now this one is uh, the same as number 7, same diagram as number 7 with a different question. It's asking us to write a similarity relation. Now we showed in multiple choice number 7 that these were similar by side, side, side similarity. and we drew the triangle separately as you can see down on the bottom of your screen right we drew those separately and we had to add these two sides here to get that's how we got the 10 right here right db is 10 and we set it up so that the sides were set up with the following proportion properly right we set it up such that um, side db right which is 10 uh, is to bm which is 5 right as 12 is to 6 as 6 is to 3, right? So biggest side over biggest side, smallest side over smallest side, mid side over mid side. So if you look at that, and they all came out to 2. And those sides, if we want to write down their letters, 10 corresponds to DB as letters, right? Uh, is to DB is to BM, right? As BC is to MA as um, DC is to BA. So now you can go by those letters to get your similarity relation. Right? We can see B right here corresponds to what letter in the other one. See? You can check that out that way. Or you can actually do it this way. You can look at the triangles you have separated. And this is the easiest way. Once you've separated them and set up your similarity relation, and we said that was side, side, side similarity. So this is basically what we did in multiple choice number seven, all that up there. Now, as you can see, uh, all the triangles start with A, B, M, A, B, M, A, B, M, A, B, M. So we have to see which one we have to write the proper order for triangle A, B, M. Now, A is right here. So triangle A, right, corresponds to which angle? Angle C. So we need A to correspond to C. So A over here, they got it to B, so it can't be that one. Uh, in B, they have A corresponding to C, so there could be that one. In D, they also have A corresponding to C, could be that one. And here, A corresponding to D. Well, it's not that. We know A corresponds to C. The next one in the letter is uh, B. All right, uh, A, B, M. So angle B is right here, and we know that corresponds to D in the big one. Okay, so now we need the one that's D. B corresponds to D. So if we look at the next letter in C, B corresponds to D. Well, that looks good. Here, B corresponds to angle B. No, can't be B. So it looks like our answer is C, but just to double check, so there's several ways you can do it. You can take your time, go through angle by angle like I'm doing. You can write the similarity relation. But really, multiple choice 7 set us up, didn't it? It separated the triangles like we have it here. Angle B equals angle M. So M and this one is B and this one. So this matches perfectly. So the answer is C.